Hi there, YouTube. This is Lester Verano. Thank you for joining me again for a video. Thank you so much. I want to say this right off the bat. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers to the channel. Getting close to finally hitting my first 500 subscribers. Uh, no tricks, um, no hacks, just taking my good old time doing vid videos when I feel like it. And um, thank you to every one of you who've come along and uh, been nice enough and generous enough to hit that like button and to hit the subscribe button. Uh, so today's video is going to be an unbox of an Ashland leather Johnny the Fox wallet uh, that I've been waiting on now for uh, almost a month. I had a chance to buy it uh, when it was available on the on the website and um, I ended up it wasn't the timing wasn't right. These are Cordovan wallets. Uh, Ashland Leather Company uh, specializes in making uh, really, uh, in my opinion, the, the finest quality leather wallets that you can buy in, in, in all of the world. And I want to share a little education with you so you get a little bit of education out of the video. So let me get that out of the way. So Cordovan is an equine leather. Now I'm reading this off the internet. I'm not this smart. I don't know these things in my brain um, word for word. But I am interested in, in, knowing, th in knowing about things. I like I think it's good to have um, a little knowledge of, of a little bit of everything. Cordovan is an equine leather. Uh, equine is actually uh, the definition of equine before I go any further. Equine is relating to or affecting horses, okay? Equine, E-Q-U-I-N-E. -E. So Cordovan is an equine leather made from the fibrous flat connective tissue or shell beneath the hide on the rump of the horse. Because it is made of connective tissue, it is smooth and lacks the pebbled effect of leather derived from animal skin. So it's a very special, very high quality leather. All right, so now that I have that out of the way, uh, this isn't actually the wallet that we're going to be reviewing today, uh, but I just wanted to get it out because I wanted to sh uh, show you this is what kind of got, got me started on these Ashland leather wallets. This is the first one that I purchased from them. Uh, it's totally my taste. I like that it's all uh, one color. I'm not really a two-tone guy, but if you go to the Ashland uh, leather website, you can you can get all, you can get custom-made wallets, you can get all different variations of design and um, color variation of these wallets. Uh, this is the number eight uh, shell cord of Fat Herbie. And uh, I always want to say on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the, the most purchase satisfaction that you can have, without a doubt, um, this is a 10, uh, 10 out of 10 as far as purchase satisfaction. Oh. It's it's leather. Uh, I love leather. I love the smell of leather. I love that it's an outlasting product. It's, it's useful. It's designed well. It's leather. It's collectible. It smells good. And this is a 10 out of 10 for purchase satisfaction. So this is actually going to be a live unboxing. I have not touched this Johnny the Fox leather wallet yet. I have not seen it yet. Um, I actually got it ready here to unbox. It just came in the mail. But it's a true live unbox. So this is the all black shell cord of Johnny the Fox wallet. Uh, I saw it on the Ashland, uh, le the Ashland leather website and I couldn't live without it. I saved money for a long time so I could get it. And then I, when I finally had the money to get it, it wasn't in stock. So then I had to wait three weeks. So I'm actually off work today and this is um, actually happening. So I, I finally getting this wallet. I'm finally going to see it. This is the all black shell cord of Johnny the Fox wallet, the long awaited. I can't believe that it's actually here. I like, I definitely waited too eagerly for this. There's no question about it. Like more eager than like a kid waiting for Christmas morning. So here we go. This is the way Ashland does it. This is how they roll. Got their little stamp right there. Of course, they're gonna always give you this little piece of uh, tag right here always comes always comes in a little sack like so and let me lay my f oh my gosh let me get my feast my eyes on this everything it everything I was hoping for right out of the first impression um, the first thing that jumped out you know, this is all that comes just a box a box a box inside of a box so that's the Ashley let me get this out of the way the first thing that hits me when this thing came out, uh, when I pulled this out of the box, is the edges here. 
the nicely done edges. It's the first sign of quality like that jumped out at me is this these nice edges right here. And I've been wanting this thing. I've been wanting this for a long time. And I mean, when I say a long time, I actually spotted these wallets about, oh, I want to say about two years ago. And I had already purchased a really nice uh, Filson uh, leather wallet, which I still have. I'm going to keep forever. But when I saw these, I had already purchased a Filson wallet. And I, it, it automatically, it immediately, like I almost turned to look the way I was like, no, because um, I knew that I was going to have to get involved with these. I was going to have to get one or two of these wallets. It was it was like I literally looked when I seen the website and I first first time I was on the website and I was looking at the pictures and I seen uh, you know, I was learning about Cordovan. I didn't know what Cordovan was and I was like I had to look away. I was like, "Oh no. I'm going to have to get this eventually." But I couldn't get it right at that time, so I kind of just looked away. Um but it had been it had definitely been uh, stewing on my mind for a while and it's uh, definitely going to be a lifelong piece. Uh, I really like. I got the. I got a really nice uh, stamp there. Yeah, the the in the inside uh, here of the wallet. It's like kind of like a green, gives off a little green, and it's just really nice uh, against that black. And uh, man, this thing feels really nice. This is definitely going to be the biggest struggle ever when I want to go out and I have to decide which wallet I want to load up and take out. But these will be definitely kept under lock and key. They're two of my most prized possessions and I wanted to share them with Say. you. There's this trend that's out there of these like these prepper wallets. And if you're looking at, I'm going to put some pictures up here of like what I'm talking about. These prepper wallets, like they, there's so many different kinds that are popping up now, but you have like Exter, flip side ridge i think pelican makes these plastic mechanism wallets where you know if you're like a minimalist you can you know fit so many cards in them and the cards will eject and fan out and stuff like that and i gotta tell you if you're looking for a wallet i always believed and i will always believe that your billfold should be leather there's no need to have something another big chunk of plastic in your pocket you know we're living in the smartphone phone world everybody's got uh, technology in their pocket and has metal and plastic in their pocket we don't need any more of it if you're looking for something that's durable i don't know why you would have to run over your wallet with your car but if you did i'm sure everything in there would be fine for protection standpoint i don't i don't see the point in having that i think um if you're looking at getting a minimalist wallet then why not just carry a minimal amount of cards, right? Um, you know, you can have, you can be like a truck driver that needs to travel all over and you need to carry 25 different cards with you. Well, the last thing I would want would be something really small with 25 cards jammed into it where it's going to be easier to go unnoticed or it's going to be easier to miss, right? So I don't see the benefit there. I think if you're going to be carrying 25 cards, credit cards or something like that, you would want like a big leather trucker wallet or something, something that's you're not going to miss very easily. Um, something that you're going to always know when it's because there. If you're already carrying a smartphone in your pocket, you might want to move your wallet and your smartphone together in the same pocket. And then, you know, you have something hard plastic in there. It's going to scratch your phone. It could scratch your phone. It's, I've never been uncomfortable carrying a leather uh, wallet in my pocket. And I think that in time, anything that's metal, aluminum, special plastic, whatever, it's going to it's gonna dull. It's going to scratch. It's going to end up looking ugly. Mechanisms are going to break. Leather doesn't break. This stuff is made to last a lifetime. There's a lot of super great companies here in the USA that make leather products and they guarantee them for a lifetime these wallets are going to outlive me i'll be dead and gone and these wallets will be in somebody else's pocket so you know leather is is the way to go for a billfold i think that's just the way it should be i don't know i guess there's there's a place for them somewhere in the world but not when um i have money to spend on nice leather like this i'd rather put my money here than put it into these these um new age uh designs of wallets and speaking of design you know a lot of these um 
wallets, these these prepper type wallets, like the ones I showed in the picture, they're they don't have a place for cash. They don't have a place for currency. A lot of them, you know, you're putting your currency on the outside of those things, and you're balling up your currency. So, like, while you might have the convenience of flicking out a card really fast or something like that, it's traded off because you don't have a you don't have a your bills are all are all folded up, and you don't have a proper compartment to carry your cash. Box. I wanted you guys to see this awesome. Uh, Johnny the Fox. I'm really proud to have it. I think I'm going to load it out, load it up and go out and enjoy it a little bit today. And um, one last final thing. And then that's this. Um, this here is the actual the good stuff that you use to take care of these uh, leather cordovan wallets. So just get a good look at that and you can get that on the uh, Ashland weather, leather uh, website too. So, all right. All right. Carrying on pretty long here. So y'all be safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. And Peace. This is Lester Verano. Goodbye now.